Hello guys, I'm making this quick video to show you how to use MailChimp to send automated email for birthdays to your contact list. So the first thing you need to have set up in MailChimp, well, number one, you need a MailChimp account. Then you need to have a contact list in MailChimp account with um, the birthday set up as one of the information that's in that list for each of your contacts, right? So this video will not show you how to do that. Uh, I'm simply going to show you how to use that to send an email um, automatically, a personalized email on birthdays. That's it. So if everything is set up, you'll click on campaigns, right? Over here, you will find, uh, we're going to click on create a campaign over here. So here on the search bar, you'll type birthday. So when you type birthday, um, here MailChimp will show you the uh, a, a template of a email flow that they already created. Okay, so instead of you creating uh, the whole flow of I would it will work out, you will just uh, it's already made for you, right? So you click on Happy Birthday. Here you can rename it what you want. Then you make sure to select the list that has the birthdays uh, included. Click on Begin right now um over here you are on the automation email uh, uh emails um, sequence okay so here we just have in the sequence only uh oh wow there's a few emails right so in this sequence that was uh that's one of the template created by mailchimp one email will be sent the day before one email will be sent on the day of the birthday and one after right so there's three emails you don't have to use all three emails you can choose to delete email two and three right you don't have to uh you, you can change the triggers for each email by clicking on edit and here you can change the number of days before or after that they will get the email right so update right the second email uh you can choose also to select uh, to, to update or change the trigger right so now your list of emails is already uh, ready what you need to do now is to populate this email right now it says there is no email uh, in this box right this box represents the, the the day an email will be sent right so that's just represent when right so every day right doesn't matter what day the birthday is 9 a.m the day before the birthday the email will be sent out so here you click on design emails right so this is the name that you uh, that you will give your email to remember it this is the email subject so i can write test uh from uh so these two information from name and from email address will uh, automatically be populated depending on the information that you have inside of your uh, MailChimp account. So uh, now that this is set up, make sure you write an email subject that's cool, like happy birthday, we thought about you today, something cool. Then click on next. So now you got to get into the design of the email. Okay. So if you're a newbie, uh, you, you can just use something that's already uh, given to you, provided by MailChimp. So it could be a layout that's already provided by MailChimp. Simple layouts where you can put your uh, logo and things of that nature. Or you can use a theme, which is like uh, visual templates provided by uh, provided by uh, MailChimp. You can use some templates that you already created, which is not uh, what this video is about. And you can use a campaign that you already sent out, right? Campaign being an email, right? So we'll click on layout for the sake of this video. Now we can, you can also have a designer create a really cool uh, visual. And then uh, by using this tool here, layout, which also is not a part of this video, uh, you can choose to uh, manage the way the design will look like. So basically you can give me any type of design and I can make the newsletter look like that, right? So you click on uh, one of those guys. I just clicked on basic. 
By default, I think MailShape will give me information that I already used on previous emails. So here you have my client logo, but we can put your logo, right? So if I click on uh, edit the block over here, I can replace and change and select a picture. It could be a logo, it could be a header, whatever. So that's how you um, actually play with this. Now over here, you need to write what the email will be about. So the uh, content of the email. So here you may want to write something. So MailChimp has a little bug, right? Uh, when you erase the text and you try to type in for some, oh, there you go, it stays. This, this time it worked. The first time it didn't. So look, when I erase all this and I try to type something, for some reason it keeps the, um, the, the, the style of the, uh, the title, like it's bold and it's big and everything. But if you still have that problem, you can go into, uh, you click on these two things here and you remove H1, H1, okay. So that's a little bug that they have inside of MailChimp. So uh, you can write, hello, um, and here you're gonna select the merge tags. So merge tags are uh, information that you can um, that you that, that you can use to personalize your message, right? So let's say the first name. Uh, if you have a thousand people that you send a mail to, you don't want to uh, individually write "Hello Frank," "Hello Sarah," "Hello Francis." You don't want to do this. That will take three days just to send out the email. So what you do instead is you use the merge tags where you click here and say you select first name. When the email is sent. Uh, automatically MailChimp will go and uh, search the first name of the person and replace it uh, and, and replace this variable here by the first name. So hello Frank, uh, we wish you a happy birthday, yada 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 yada, whatever, and you write whatever you want. When you're done, you click save and close. And uh, before you hit save and continue, I always advise you to go here and uh, send yourself a test email. When you look at the test email, you want to make uh, you want to look at number one uh, is the email subject what you wanted to write. You want to make sure there's no typos. You want to make sure every link inside of your email is functional. Say, for instance, here we have a few links: Twitter, Facebook, whatever. You want to make sure everything is fine, right? So you always want to go through some sort of quality assurance. When all that is done then uh, you want to hit save and continue. So that's it. So now we have email number one, the upcoming birthday will be sent uh, one day before the birthday at 9 a.m. That's it. Now, uh, so that's it, right? So you can do the same thing for uh, those three, uh, those two other emails, or you can choose to delete them, or you can choose to play with the triggers. You can do whatever you want. Once you're done, you're going to hit next over here. And now, um, you go, I think everything is good here. Before you can send, please resolve the issues below. Your birthday, ta -da -da. Oh, I think it's not working. So I gotta, I'm going to change this because I think. Go next. I think the trigger wasn't good because I already have a campaign that uses the same the day before the email at 9 a.m. So MailChimp is telling me do not use the exact same um, do not use the exact same um, setup because MailChimp doesn't want to send the same email twice. Okay. So we're just going to change that. So here, let's say we're going to go um, edit. Say, um, come back. Okay, so, I want to look at the trigger. There you go. So, let's say the trigger is five days before. Update trigger. Now, this one I'm going to delete. Delete, right? This one I'm going to delete. Delete, right? So now that uh, that should work now because the other one, the other ones were probably also uh, conflicting. So now if I click on next, that should work. 
there you go everything is fine so now you can click on start sending and that's it when you hit start sending that's it your uh, your, your your workflow is, is gonna be working and it will uh, Mailchimp will take care of the rest if you like this video please uh, send me an email share it do whatever you want but uh, get me some uh, visibility out there once again it was Steve Pellin my goal is to help my clients get more clients and I want to also help them save time by automating their sales process. Thank you very much for watching.